It is the Flow Friday Night Sports Show, and not only are we going to talk Wimmera Netball with our next guest, but uh, she had a great weekend, and I want to find out a little bit more about it. So we welcome back to the program, Zali Brown. Uh, how are you, Zali? I'm very well, thanks, Jay. Excellent. We want to talk those Southern Mallee Giants in a moment, but look, uh, you guys all had the weekend off last week, the uh, the Giants cruise, so I believe you may have taken in uh, a, a really cool sporting event over the weekend. Can you tell us where you were? Yeah, I did, Jay. I went to the uh, freeze MND match uh, Collingwood versus Melbourne. As a Collingwood supporter, I was extremely happy with the outcome. But overall, it's a great cause, great day, and I was very happy. How close to the slide were your seats? Uh, to be honest, we were like directly across the other side. <laughs> so, <laughs> Uh, wasn't that close, but they had it all up around the stadium, so we could still see. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the big screens everywhere you can see up close and personal. Anyway, who was your favourite slider for the day? Yeah, there were some rippers amongst them. I am a big fan of Ash Barty, so yeah. I think that she was a... Uh probably my favourite for the day. She dressed as Rafiki, did she not, with uh, Simba? Um, <laughs> yes, she went full Lion King. It was amazing. <laughs> oh, fantastic. So, and a Collingwood supporter topping it off with a win. Happy days all around. So, I uh, tell you what, you probably didn't mind having the weekend off. No, I uh, quite convenient, really. Absolutely. But uh, there were two teams who did not have the weekend off, and that's where we're going to have a look today to start with. Uh, and, of course, it was a special occasion for the Warwick Eagles. They welcomed Dimbola to Warwick Nabil, and uh, they were celebrating, well, the uh, the merging of their club um, and uh, celebrating some past premiership greats, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I think they had a good weekend. Everyone been a long weekend. They probably got a lot of people there, and I think it would have been uh, fun for everyone. Do you know much about the history of that, that club, the Warwick Eggs? Uh, they're a merger of uh, several clubs over the years, aren't they? Yeah, gosh, I'm probably not the best person to ask. No, I'm not much um, of a historian for Wimmera Netball or football either, <laughs> it must be said. Uh, I'm sure there are people out there listening. Your dad's probably be the best one to ask. Oh, look, he'd pretend to know whether it was all <laughs> factual or not. Different different question, but that's all right. Uh, I'm sure we've got listeners at Warwick Nabil, and I'd love to know a little bit more. So uh, if you're listening and you're a part of the Warwick Eagles uh, Football Netball Club, send me an email and just give me the details. And tell me a little bit more about the, the history of your club. Uh, it's uh, these wonderful clubs that we have all over our, our network area that um, have battled away year in, year out. Uh, the Southern Mallee Giants are the same, of course. The uh, the joining of uh, Hopeton and Bueller together, which, if you ask Ross, uh, would have been a million to one to happen back in the 80s. They uh, they had a fair old rivalry back in the day, I think, those two. Oh, absolutely. You wouldn't have thought it would ever happen, and yet it's been pretty amazing since it did. So yep. I think we're all very happy now. So uh, that game um, in the netball, the A-grade netball, Warwick uh, hadn't had a win all season long. They have now. They celebrated in style for this uh, special weekend of theirs, didn't they? Yeah, they did. They uh, rose to the occasion. I think we were saying that they weren't too far off getting their first wins of the season, and it's come and what a great weekend for it to come for them. So they won in the end comfortably too but 20 odd goals I think in the end wasn't it? Yeah yeah I think it was about 23 in the end and that's a great win um, for anyone so I think They'll be very happy, and I'm sure they celebrated extremely hard all night. Oh, I've got no doubt. And poor old Tim Baller have probably wondered how they drew the short straw to get that fixture. <laughs> I know, I know, but, you know, they will bounce back, no doubt. They will, no doubt at all. So that leads us into this round of matches, or the completion of it. So that was the first match to be played in round nine. Uh, we've got a couple of others, uh, and the Southern Mallee Giants, your crew, will be in the thick of the action. You're at home this week, I believe, with the Horsham Saints coming to town. Yes, in Hoken this week, which is exciting. We love our home ground uh, advantage, I'd like to say we have. Um, so we'll be happy to host the Saints all day and haven't played them this year, obviously. We're nearly through the first half of the season, so I'm excited to see what I have to bring. So what do you know about uh, the Saints point, having not played them? Obviously not a, a great deal. You haven't seen them in the flesh yet, but uh, on the ladder at the moment, they're sort of mid-table. They're sixth at the moment. You guys are fourth. It's a pretty important game because they're sitting on the same number of wins as you guys, so it's almost the old-fashioned four-point game. Yeah, it definitely is. Like It is. Everyone is so close this year in that middle range of the ladder. So I think every game is going to be extremely important. 
And I think they're going to come out firing and we're going to have to match that. Well, uh, the other thing is in Wimmera Netball, uh, everything's a point game because uh, you get points for a win. But it's an old-fashioned eight-point game, I should have said. It's uh, it's moving time. Uh, the winner will obviously have a bit of a, a leg up over the loser in this in- instance, particularly if it's yourself. It'll give you a, a, a six-point premiership table gap between the Horsham Saints in sixth spot. So you'll be a game and a half clear of them um, with not too many games to go. So that'll be important. Yeah, I think any any win's going to be important. Um, you never know what's going to happen week on week. If you're going to have people away or illnesses. So when you've got your full side, you want to make the most of it and get the wins. Yeah. What about through the rest of the grades? How are you guys shaping up? Are you going to be close to full strength? You avoided the COVID bug over uh, the long weekend, I trust? Uh, I think we have a couple, but uh, for the most part, I think we've been very fortunate um, and we should uh, be able to fill uh, three strong senior sides that'll hopefully get three wins. So Ararat have the club by and Minyat Matoa, they will take on nil. So they'll have the A grade by. The rest of their club go at it um, at nil. Um, so that will be uh, the uh, one of the ma- matchups there. The other one uh, that we'll have uh, as far as the A grade goes will be an interesting game. Stall taking on Horsham. So um, who's your tip in that one? I won't ask you to tip on the Giants uh, Saints because that would be silly, but who's your tip on Stall versus Horsham? Uh, I think the Demons will get up. They've had an amazing start to the season and I can't see that changing this weekend. But uh, I do hope that Stall uh, gives them a good run for their money. Yeah, Stall have only had the one win this year. I have had a draw as well and I reckon that draw might have been against the Southern Mountain Giants, right? Yeah, it was. They are definitely a good young side. Um, it probably doesn't show when they've only had that one win, but I think a lot of close games, the draw against us, I think they can... They can take it to Demon. All right, well, should be an interesting round uh, in Wimmera football and netball. Of course, it is round eight. So, sorry, round nine now of matches. And uh, we're getting towards uh, the second half of the season, a total of 18 rounds. So we're uh, well past the halfway mark uh, at, at the end of the day's play. We'll be past it. So um, we're on the downhill run to finals time. I know. It's going to be very exciting to see where everyone places at the end of the halfway mark and then home stretch. Yep. Hopefully, plenty of wins ahead. All right. Well, enjoy the home game at Hopeton. And uh, Zali will catch up with you again next week. Uh, enjoy the game. Good luck. Thanks, Jay. Chat next week.